Hey guys, it's your girl Island Beauty and I'm back with another video. As y'all can see by the title, I'll be doing a get ready with me today, which will just include me getting my wig laid and slayed for me to go to work and that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get to it. the first thing is to position that wig cap the way you want it make sure it's tight make sure it's you know all the way to the bottom front to back then you go ahead and put your wig on go ahead and put that on from the back flip it around make sure the combs are in order I flip it up and now I'm just adjusting it to the way I want it to sit on my head right here you see me taking down my ear tab that's just what I'm gonna tack down so it kind of completes the look now, some people use Ghost Bond or Got To Be Glue Gel or Got To Be Glue Spray to tack down their edges, but listen, your girl lazy. Your girl ain't got time for all of that. So, we just gonna use our old-fashioned bobby pins because they do the trick too. <laughs> was not working with me we had to get it in formation you had to snatch it up but Bruh. it got right after a while They're tacked down, they look good. Now we're gonna go in with the lighter body coconut and shea oils wrap me mousse just because it doesn't make your hair hard and crunchy, so I like using it to do my edges. I go ahead and brush all my edge hairs out that I would like to use to do my soups and things. I had to cut a little bit just because it was just a little too long on that side. But once you have your edges brushed out into the length you want them, go ahead and apply your mousse and start the swooping process, sis. Just start swooping. that from Walmart for no more than three dollars and I just go ahead and put it on top of my edges where I did my switching things and then I go ahead and flip my head over once I have it positioned correctly on my head and I go and I take it and I tie it in the back with like a scrunchie or the one of the little elastic band things just to make it tighter to get that lace melted honey melted then I take the front and I just pull it down a little bit because I do need to work with those hairs in the front to frame my face a little bit with like the little M. If y'all ladies know what I'm talking about, then y'all on game. And if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, just keep watching. Y'all gonna find out. my edge 
edges um, well the sides of my hair so I can go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and comb it out just to get all the tangles or knots out of it I do it this way kind of often so I'm just combing it out here making sure it's nice and smooth the way I want it Then I'm gonna take my wax stick and I'm gonna go ahead and try to lay those hairs in the direction that I want them to lay when I press the hot comb over it to give me that M framing face type of look which y'all will see if y'all know what I'm talking about and I'm just, you know, smoothing it out and making sure it's in the direction I want it to go. Now I put the hot comb over it and I just comb it back. And then I take the hot comb and comb it down. And after a while, you guys will see the little M shape I'm talking about. I'll go ahead and comb it out again, comb it down, and bam! Right there, that M shape right there. If you don't see it, then I don't want to tell you. At this point, the hair was just kind of flat, so I decided, let's put some curls in this thing. So I go ahead and heat up my wand, wait for it to heat up while I just go ahead and comb the hair. And now I'm just gonna take section by section and wand curl my hair. I just wand curl my hair like anybody wand curls their hair. You just take the hair and wrap it around the wand. And a couple of times, no one's gonna see that. But that wand was hot. But yeah, so I just curl my hair from this on from this point on, and I hope you guys enjoy. take the hot wand and press the top of my head with it to make sure that my part is being accentuated so the surrounding areas are flat. Yes, look at those curls, nice and juicy. They're gonna fall into beautiful waves. And now it's time for us to move on to lashes. are on the eyes are dead we're gonna go ahead and take off that elastic band that was marinating them swoops and that lace while I'm over here struggling <laughs> so now that we're done with everything you just take off your elastic or whatever you put on as I said um, during the video I just got this thing from Walmart and I just tie it up in the back with this to make it tighter. I could cut it in half, but I don't feel like doing that. So, and then you can either take a wide tooth comb or just your fingers and just 
run your hands through. I'm gonna use my hands. Just run your hands through the curls. But don't play with them. Because the more you play with them, the more they fall. Put it to the front so you guys can see. Come the front out. And I did curl it different ways just to give a little bit of volume. Because this hair is very silky. So that's really it. The ends look like, the hair looks like, so effortless, just curl. And that's it, my part. I just put some powder in it. Um, not in this video, just, I don't really powder in it, it just stays there. Um, as you can see, I got that laid and slayed, glued down look without gluing it because your girl is lazy and I don't have time. So, yes, and that's it. That's the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section what other videos you guys like to see from me. Um, and that's about it for today. So don't forget to tell your mama, your daddy, your uncles, your partners, your sis, your bros, everybody. Because everybody is welcome. And we out.